I have these seven playing cards, three of which are kings. I'm going to shuffle them so we don't know where the kings are. Now, I'll pick out two cards at random. But before I show them to you, you need to make a bet. Will a king show up or not? If you're right, you win. Were you right? I'm going to ask the same question to different people and see what they bet. So it's a very simple question I'm going to ask you. So I have these seven playing cards and three of them are kings. Okay. So I'm going to shuffle them. So we don't know where the kings are. And now I'm going to pick out two cards at random. And I want you to make a bet. So what's your bet? Will a king show up or not? No, I don't think so. There'll be no king for me. No. It won't. Yeah, I think so. No. Yes? No. Maybe no? Oh, okay, cool. Let's see. Just say. Ah. All right. <laughs> yeah, all right. Most people bet on the king card not showing up. And they believed so because there are only three kings while there are four other cards. So obviously, other cards have a higher chance of showing up, right? Maybe not. With the 10 different people we played, the king actually showed up eight times. Only two times did a king not show up. Now, was this just a matter of luck or the chances of a king card showing up are really that high? Let's look at the math behind it. Let's number the cards from one to seven. Where cards two, five and seven are the kings. Now, when we flip two cards over, what all possible combinations can show up? Cards one and two, one and three, one and four, one and five, one and six, one and seven, two and three, two and four, two and five, and so on. Here are all the possible combinations, 21 in total. Now, how many of these combinations contain at least one king? That is one or more of cards numbered two, five or seven. That's 15 pairs out of these 21 and only six pairs which do not contain a king. In other words, if this flipping is done repeatedly many times, a king will show up 15 times out of 21. That's around 71% chance of a king showing up and only about 29% chance that none of the cards is a king. So, there's a significantly higher chance that a king card will show up. And that's what you should bet on to have a higher chance of winning. Now, here's a challenge for you. If there were seven cards again, but with just two kings this time, what could you bet in that case? On a king showing up? or not.